Hi, Taurus. This is Jeffrey. This is Red Color. This is your reading for the week of May 30th through um, June 6th. I got it right. <laughs> I have it written in front of me, and half the time I'm like, uh, uh, uh. okay. It, the year is 2021, by the way. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I'm offering 30 minute readings for $30. My hands are a little wet, so, okay. Um, what else? Oh, I have a line of astrology t-shirts and stickers. All the information is below. And I have a lovely Instagram feed and uh, it's red color. It's my artwork and uh, I would appreciate your support. Okay, I said that was my marketing part. Marketing, marketing, marketing. I didn't have to hire a name for that. <laughs> if any of you like work for yourself, you know, and it's like you use one service one time and it's like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm gonna make you a million, bro, million, trillion, billion dollars, bro. And it's only gonna cost you 600 a month and you're gonna get millions of millions of subscribers. I can't tell you how many Joe Blows I meant like that. I can't even tell you. I'm just making an observation. I'm not, I mean, maybe I am coaching, but I'm making an observation. All right, Taurus, let's see what's going on for you for the week, this week, including Memorial Day. I think it's gonna be a really nice Memorial Day this year. Someone else got something. I don't remember who it was. The king, okay, I'm gonna say the cards. The King of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and the Chariot. The King of Swords, I don't realize how many beautiful colors are in this card. You know, I always see this as like sort of this blue card, right? Because he's icy in a way, he's blue, he's king of air. Um, but if you look really closely, look at all the lovely colors that are around him. I never really noticed that until just now. It's pretty pink and orange. We love pink and orange together. And um, a little green. More orange, and really lovely. He's sitting, you no, know, he's sitting in a forest. So, I don't know why that came up. You know why that came up? Because he's kind of, he's, even though he's very in his head, there's a very grounded energy to him. At least there is at this moment. <clears throat> I, whenever he comes up, I always see him. So initially, when I first started reading cards, I always saw him as a judge. Now I see him as a surgeon. He's a surgeon. He uses his intellect. He has knowledge. All the kings have knowledge. Kings are all about knowledge. And this one has knowledge of the way things work. He has knowledge of fairness. He has knowledge of uh, ideas, you know. And he doesn't allow his um, uh, emotions to get involved or his passion to get involved. It's like, what's the law? So for me, he's a surgeon. He cuts out the bad. He cuts out the bad. He cuts out all the unnecessary things. And he doesn't do it because he's being mean-hearted, or I mean, he can be, you know, but he's not, not today. He's, you know, being efficient. He's like, he's like a great accountant. He's like a great accountant. He goes, you don't need that. 
you don't need that. You know, it's going to cost you this much money in the long run. You don't need it. You can make do with this. And, da, da, da. and, he, and he ends up saving you a lot of money because he cut out all the fat. So even though you might not, you know, it's like, you know, really? It's like, I do need this. I do need this. I only have 16 fur coats. I mean, how am I going to get on with life? I need 20. <laughs> Oh, did you say a fur coat? Yes, I said a fur coat. Okay. <clears throat> so there's a real CFO thing going on here. Right. Then I get defending, defensive, right? Has the high ground. Very good thing. Very good thing. Has the high ground. So that means that. Um, it's actually tipped in his favor. It's almost like you have a coin, you know, that you that you fixed, right? So it might not always end up on heads, but 60% is going to end up on heads. You know what I'm saying? 70, actually. So I'm just like, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll take heads. <laughs> well, heads. <laughs> so it's a little bit like that. Okay. Um, this is also about having confidence in your passion and defending your passion and defending um the thing that really excites you so it might come up like there might even be an outside influence that says oh no 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 it's like no 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 stand your ground stand your ground because see at the end of the day you're going to know how to put it together through your intellect, right? And through your ability to execute a plan, right? That it's gonna move forward, that it's going to move forward. Yeah, it's these two parts came together for some other sign, I can't remember who it was. If that happens to be a rising and you get the same reading, well then it's a double reading, okay? The birds are chirping, they agree with me. Where are they? Um, confidence and be confident in your thought be confident in the knowledge that you have be confident in what you're thinking don't second guess what you're thinking if you have some outside influence that says oh no 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 that's not the way because you know this is your reading and you are the king of swords this week right yeah so many times um i, I everyone reads the way they read but for me the all these these are all you this is all you. I'm reading for you. I'm not, oh, well, you know, there's a, uh, a, an older man who's very intellectual. You're the older man who's very intellectual, even if you're a 16 year old girl. We all have these energies within us, right? So that's how I always see it. So, you know, it's a king, right? And the king is going to back up the the young person has a plan, right? Because he's behind it in a way, right? The intellect is first, and then the passion and the ability to execute and the ability to work click quickly, and and the the um, the confidence is there. So, like, kind of stick up for yourself, it, to yourself. Instead, if you're having this, oh, I don't really know. Move confidently toward, you know, what you want to do, toward your passion, and and know that, you know, you might have to defend it, but you have the higher ground. The time has come, you know, even if you're doing it on a very small scale, I'm not saying, you know, change your whole life, you know, if you have a $100,000 job, and it's like, well, you know, I, I think I'm going to make like, shoot bracelets and sell them for a dollar and you know I could sell a hundred thousand in the first month I'm not saying that I'm saying if you want to make those jute bracelets because it's your passion and you know you're willing to put the time in and it gives you great joy then that's what you should be doing mm -hmm. yeah but really yeah yeah really really because um Collectively, if we're all tuning into what makes us joyful and passionate and happy and full, then collectively.
collectively, we're a joyful, full, happy, creative planet. So I don't know what your thing is. You don't know what my thing is. But whatever that thing is, have confidence that you know how to execute it and you know how to cut out the fat and you know how to be um, fair-minded about it. And go out there confidently and do it. That's my little take for you, Taurus. How do you like that? Blessings to you.